Hey guys, I'm Catherine Chloe Cahoon. So I've received several questions about the smoky eye. It seems to be very popular. And my friend Duncan Smith, who is the professional makeup artist, is like the smoky eye king. I mean, he is phenomenal. So he is coming by to show you how to do it. A lot of girls have asked about the smoky eye. It's so popular, but they want to look hot, but they don't want to look all heroin chic. So how can they do it so that it's not over the top if you're just an everyday girl? Well, there's a really easy way to do our smoky eyes so that it looks beautiful and it looks finished, but it's not overdone. Mm -hmm. um, so with the, the eye, I'm going to start with our paint pot. Um, this is our eyeshadow base. We're going to put this over the whole and eye. And who makes that again? Um, it's, made by MAC and it's a cream texture so it blends really really nice and you can get really nice and thin on the eye but it's still really going to keep that eyeshadow on and in place. So we want something that's really neutral because we're going to build on top of this. We just want something really to grab onto that eye makeup so that it stays on all night. The next thing we're going to use is an eyeliner pencil. Um, the eyeliner pencil, you want it to be really, really soft. Um, where I'm actually going to start applying it is underneath the lash line. So look down at the floor for me. I'm going to pull your eyelash up just a little bit, and we're going to... It's hard not to pull it. <laughs> this is something that takes a little getting used to. So really work this into under the lashes because that's where you don't want that gap between your eyelashes and where your eyeshadow starts. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to start bringing that eyeliner up on the upper part of the lash line too. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to smudge it out. We just don't want to make it too thick because that's when it gets a little crazy. So go ahead and take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Because then we're going to take and smudge it out, but that's really going to keep the intensity right at the lash line where you want it to be the darkest because that's the smoky eye. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to look down again. Quickly do that to the same thing to the other eye. Underneath the lash line and then roughly up on the upper lid. And we want to keep it thinner at the inner part of the eye and then let it get a little bit thicker at the outer. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to get smudged out and we're going to put shadow on top of it. Now I'm going to take my flat brush and just softly whisk out that liner to get that soft smudge effect. Because we don't want a definite line with this. I'm going to take my black eyeshadow. And black eyeshadow can be really, really scary. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to start with it light and always add more color rather than start too dark and take color away. So we want to start by pressing just a little bit of eyeshadow right onto the tip of our flat brush. I'm going to tap it on my hand so that we don't have shadow directly on the tips of the brush so that it doesn't go on too dark to begin with. I'm going to take and flip that brush straight up and down and then start by pressing into the lash line and pulling up building this from the base of the lash line upward and you can always make it more and more dramatic by just bringing it up further on the eye. Smoky but not overdone look. I'm not bringing it up too far. But it's not a black eye. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to look like you got in a fight. <laughs> right. So press, press, press. And by pressing this onto the eye, we're going to get more eyeshadow on your eyelid than on top of your cheek nice and smoky but it's not too much. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at that. Now I'm going to take a color that is 
just a couple shades darker than your skin and we're gonna call this our best friend color because this does a lot of the blending work for us. It's also gonna add that really nice contour to the crease of the eye. Um, so hold this mirror here. So you see when you look here, that shadow that's naturally created from below, mm -hmm. that's your crease and that's where we wanna focus this color. And so by just blending it into the crease and then bringing it down over that black eyeshadow, it gives a really beautiful blended smoky eye. The so same thing here, put that right in the crease, back and forth like a windshield wiper and then down over top of that black eyeshadow. you don't want to see where one color starts and one color stops. You, all, you want it all to just kind of gradiate together. You can't really over blend. Now right underneath the brow I'm going to take a really light eyeshadow and we're going to add just a little bit of highlight. So with the smoky eye, you want to work from your darkest color to your lightest color. Just press this right under the brow. And then to open up the eye just a little bit with that dark eye makeup, we're going to bring it right here in the inner corner of the eye also. Now underneath the eye. Mm -hmm. This is where it gets a little bit tricky and it can get really, really overdone. I'm gonna take an angle brush and I'm gonna take my black eyeshadow, but rather than rub the brush into the eyeshadow, I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna tap the very tips of the brush on there so that when we're putting this underneath the eye, we're just gonna take and we're gonna press and wiggle so that keeps it really nice and tight at the lash line. So go ahead and open and look up for me. Press it right up against that lower lash line and wiggle it right into the base of the lashes. This way it doesn't travel down too far and make you look crazy. We're not doing a runway smoky eye here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and take a look. See how that really has that soft smudged effect underneath the eye, but it's not too much. Yeah, and it really doesn't travel. Right. So just press this really nice and tight into that lower lash line. I'm going to take just a little bit of concealer and clean up underneath the eye. This is also going to help to hold that eyeshadow in place too mm -hmm. um, because the concealer is going to kind of create a barrier for that dark eye makeup so that it doesn't continue to move down the face. That's good because sometimes I've had my makeup, it ends up on your cheek. Right. <laughs> All sorts of places. Just use that to clean up right under there. And then we just finish it off with a little bit of mascara. Actually, a lot of mascara. <laughs> Open and look down for me. And with mascara, I like to start with a really light coat of mascara when we're building it up to be nice and dramatic. Um, let it almost dry and then come back in and add more coats because if you start coating it from the very beginning, that's when you end up with three eyelashes because it saturates those lashes too much. Nobody wants only three eyelashes. <laughs> Look down again. Now we can go back in and really coat up those lashes. I'm 
We're good to go. Got your beautiful yeah, smoky eye. Gorgeous. Some girls love the smoky look, but they feel like the dark colors are just a bit too dramatic for them. But you don't just have to use the blacks, grays, and silvers. You can also use some lighter colors, like if you want to use a little bit of gold eyeshadow, that will lighten up your look and then you won't feel like, you know, you're a drama queen. Also, if you want to take the smoky from day into evening, you can just add more darker shades. Okay, thank you so much for all your questions. Bye.